Okay, so it turn, uh, turns out I, I stopped instead of pausing the recording. So, uh, sorry, this is now, I guess, part two of today's episode. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I sure I'm not the first person to hear uh, say that. Uh, but, <laughs> funnily enough, I guess I was too smart for my own good. I really didn't think that uh, that bit of wisdom applied to me. Uh, I'd say up until I was in my, probably even my mid-thirties, I felt like uh, I had all the time in the world. What's up, Daisy? Okay, I'm good. That was just a pee. Um, a part of it was... Uh, Maybe a little bit due to the uh, Denning Kruger effect. Uh, hopefully, if you don't know what that is, maybe I'll talk about that another day. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Uh, but I really felt that <laughs> basically, by the time with with lifespans expanding the way they are, uh, by that by the time that I would actually be close to dying. I would have the capability to, you know, basically be immortal, you know, whether it's... Girls! Wait, wait, miss that, wait. Okay, come on. Whether it's through, uh, some sort of, uh, gene therapy or digitizing my consciousness or whatever it is, you know. That's the type of stuff that I was thinking about back in the 90s and early 2000s, before, way before anyone uh, except science fiction authors were uh, talking about that, right? So anyway, uh, due to that sort of illusion, I felt like my life plan was that and, you know, sometimes, you know, I gotta kind of say, still is, uh, you know, but I'm gonna live to 150 or 200 years old, if not more, right? If not, you know, if being immortal or, uh, and that, by that time, technology will have an advance enough that you can basically avoid, I mean, uh, I can get into the why of that. Uh, Maybe I'll do so in another episode, but let's just say that there was some Some science very valid Scientific voices stating uh, That that type of thing is possible really uh, with what's uh, going on in the current advancements in technology uh, on the genetic side and lifespan Um, And you combine that with uh, you know, kind of the Richard uh, Dawkins, no, sorry, the Ray Kurzweil uh, theory, well, not theory, like, I think he's kind of proven his, that many times over now, uh, about the progress, uh, exponential growth of technology, and uh, you combine those two things together, and why would you not think that uh, you'll have a way to prolong your life for extremely long at this point so I felt that you know what is considered to be a normal lifespan right now in my mind that was kind of just the intro to the game Uh, so I felt like I could uh, after you know having been kind of like I don't want to feel I don't want to feel like I'm, sound like I'm bragging too much, but, you know, I was, uh, I was something when I was in high school, uh, definitely, well, and before that, uh, and, uh, you know, after that, like, I, like I've mentioned before, um, a few examples, but, uh, let's just say, uh, you know, hockey, I could have, could have competed if I didn't stop doing that in order to go for the national team in, in karate. Uh, I would have gone to the world championships, but that's another uh, big shaping event disappointment in my life. I'll get into another 
and they basically the short version of the story is after giving everything up for years in order to go to the world championships in tokyo uh that year which are held every four years that year they decided to up the minimum age and i no longer i was too young to go and that completely blew my morale and anyway um so all that to say that my plan was to basically uh no sorry i lost track i i got diverted there i'm getting really cold uh the the plan was to uh, or sorry Whew. off track again what i was about to say is that uh i'm uh Oh, Daisy, again. Okay, one second. 